Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, we will see how to add table of contents on the Elementor website. The table of contents is the feature of Elementor Pro plugin. So you will need Elementor Pro plugin installed on your website. Now this is the page and on this page you will see different sections. So there are many sections on this page and in order to see the entire content of your web page, people will need to scroll down to the page. So instead of that, you can add table of contents on that page. Using table of contents, your visitor will be able to see the summary of your website in this table of contents. So from here, they can go directly to that particular section. So they can choose what to see on your website. So this is the example. And here you will see different table of contents. If I want to go to this section, I can simply click on it and it will move directly to that section. And you will see the subsections of that page. When you are on this new section, it will get highlighted. So it will highlight the active section of that page. So if I want to go directly to the top, I can simply click on this first section and it will go directly to that particular section of the web page. And the table of content can stick to the right sidebar or to the left sidebar. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So this is the page on which we are going to add table of content feature. Now on this page, you will see different sections with some dummy content. So this is the first section and this is the title of the section. This is the second section, the third section, fourth, fifth, sixth, and the last section. So we have different sections on this page and some dummy content. Let's go to edit with Elementor. So we have designed this page using Elementor and we have Elementor Pro installed on this website. So in order to use table of content feature, you will need Elementor Pro plugin. Now we are going to add table of content in the right sidebar. So we will need to add a column for the table of content. So let's add a column. So this is the section on this section. I'm going to add new column. We need to add column because if we add table of content here, it will cover the content of the page. So it will not look good. So we are going to add a column and table of content will be in that column. So let's click on it, right click on it and go to add new column. So this is 50 50. Let's change the structure. Click on this section edit and change the structure to right column. So this is the column for this section. Now for this section, do the same thing. Right click and go to add new column. And here edit the section and make it a right sidebar. So this is the sidebar. Okay, you can adjust the width of this column. Okay, now let me do the same thing for all the other sections. So I'm adding the right sidebar on each section. All right, so we have added right sidebar on all the sections. So this is the first section. So click on the plus sign of this section. So in this column, we are going to add table of content. Now here search for table of content. So you will see this option table of contents. So this is the one, drag it and drop it here in this column. Now here you will see the table of content. So this is the H2 title. So here, if I click on this title, you will see that the HTML tag for this title is H2. So this is the title H2. Now this one is H3 title and this is also H3 and this is H4 title. So I have just mentioned it so that you will understand which title tag is it. H3, H3 and this is H4. Okay, now here you will see the structure. The main title, the H2 tag will be here. And this is the subtitle H3, H3 of H2. See, so you can see 1.1, 1.2, and this H4 will be the subtitle for this H3. So you will see this here, 1.2.1. Okay, so this is for the first section. Now for the second section, you will see the same thing. Here, this is the H2, H3 and H4. So you will see the same thing here also. H2, H3 and H4. So this is how it will arrange. Now we are going to customize this table of content. So click on the edit section. 
Now here you will see the H4 title tag. This is for this particular title. Now which title tag you want to show in this column or in this table of content. So I'm not going to show H5 or H6. You can also remove H4. Here you will see H4. I'm going to remove that also. So you will see only H2 and H3 tags in this table of contents. Okay, now you are not going to add any other title tag. Okay, now let's go to marker view. This is the marker view. Right now it is set to numbers. You can also set to bullets. So this is bullets. And if you want to change this icon, you can simply click on this icon library and you can from here you can change the icon. I can change to let's say arrow. So this is the arrow you can choose. So I'm going to select this one. Now here you will see all the arrow icons have been changed. So let's get it back to numbers. Okay, so this is the number system. Now let's go to additional options. Word wrap, so it will wrap the word. Minimize the box. So this is the minimization. So when I click on it, it will minimize. So if you want to minimize, you can show it. Otherwise, if you disable it, it will not minimize. So let's hit enable it. Now this is the icon for the minimization. You will see this here. You, if you want, you can change that also. You will see this icon here. So let me change it back. Okay, so this is how you can adjust these icons. Now, minimized on tablet or mobile. So leave it as it is. On tablet, it will get minimized automatically. On the full screen, it looks better. But on the tablet or on the mobile, it will cover the entire screen so it's better to minimize on the smaller devices now here you will see hierarchical view it is set to yes if you set it no you will see that it all the points h1 h2 h3 h2 h3 h4 all will be listed in a single line so there will not be any hierarchical view so i'm going to set it yes and collapse sub items so these are the sub items you can also collapse them so only the h2 tag will be shown and h3 tag will be collapsible so when i click on it you will see the h3 tags also all right so let's set it to collapsible okay now let's go to style section now we are going to change the background color let's select this one so this is the background color this is the border let's change this to green and loader icon you can change the color according to your website color combination if you want to add border radius you can add the border radius i'm not going to change it i'm not going to change the paddings also i'll leave the other settings you can play with the settings header see this is for the header i'm going to change the background color for the header dark blue and change the text color to white and the icon color to white so this is the icon color okay separator width so this is the separator you will see it here Okay, now list so this is the list minimum height maximum height you can change the maximum height indent so here you will see the indent settings okay this one looks good okay now have the text color let's change it to white and when you hover it will change the color so you see this green color when it is active change the color to let's say blue so this one is active so it shows a blue color here and this is the hover color now this is the marker color let's change it to green okay now if you want to underline it you can select underline when you hover when when it is active you can make it underline so let's set yes here so people will be able to see where they are on the page when they are on the second section then it will get highlighted and it will be marked as active okay now let's change let's go to the advanced settings we do not want this table of content to be scrolling with the page so we need to fix the position of this table of contents so let's go to positioning and here let's set the width to custom and let's say change the percentage view to 25 percent so it will cover the 20 vw 25 percent 
convert you can also use this scroll bar so from here you can also change the width okay now vertical align so let's go to position and let's make it fixed okay now change the horizontal orientation to right you can also change the offset from here and the vertical orientation let's change it to bottom okay from here you can change the offset okay now let's scroll and when you scroll you will see the table of content still stays there so this is how it will look you can also change the width from here you can change the width right now let me change the color of the heading the background color i'm going to change it to black okay now let's update this page and let's see how does this look on the actual page so here you will see the table of content now if you want to go directly to this section you can click on it and the page will go directly to that section from here you can say now when when i move to the next section you will see this the next section is faq and when i move to the faq section it will get highlighted as active section so here you will see the active section in blue color unless if you want to go top you can simply click on it and it will go to the first section of this page you can also go to the sub section so this is the heading 3 you can see it here now let's go back and change the we will also show the h4 tag so let's click on the plus sign and select h4 Okay, now let's update it and refresh the page. Okay, now here you will see the H4 tags also. So H4 tag will be always under the H3 tag. So when you click on it, it will go directly to H4 tags also. Now we have added this table of content to one particular page if you want to add this to all the posts on the website then you can simply go to the theme builder and add this table of content in the right sidebar of your blog post template and it will show on all the blog post it will automatically take the h2 h3 h4 tags of your blog post and it will create the table of contents automatically you just need to customize the table of contents its style so that it will look better on your website Now when I check it on the mobile it does not look good let's go to responsive mode and go to mobile and this is how it will look on the mobile go to advanced and go to positioning and let's go to responsive mode select mobile and from here you can select the full width and positioning to the top here you will see the positioning so from here it will be already minimized from here they can click on it and it will open the table of contents so you will need to play with the settings on the position of the table of contents on the mobile devices so let's go back to the page all right so this is how you can add table of contents using elementor on your website so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.